I think since uh, 2006 we sold almost uh, 8,000 of the Mini and we had uh, four complaints. <laughs> no, <it's laughs> so uh, almost nothing and so the, the Mini is the, the product with less uh, complaints. It's a commercial grind, don't forget yeah. Mark, yeah, yeah. it's a commercial grind that yeah. has been, because of the compact size, has been sold worldwide as a, as a grinder for home use. Yeah, yeah. It's been designed for, uh, for uh, uh, commercial use. Okay. Ah, yeah, this is why it's written in the manual, uh, it's a professional exactly. Exactly. grinder and uh, yeah. Exactly. So, uh, after some years, okay, waiting for the new grinders coming from yeah. Mazda, it was time to, to, let's say, to refresh a little bit. Yes, the mini, yes. Uh, mini electronic. So, this is a restyling of the Mini. Okay. Where we changed, the, um, mechanically speaking, the grinder is the same as before. Yeah. So, very yeah. reliable, very... Uh, solid everything, okay, the last yeah, four yeah. generations, I would say, in a home use, it might uh, <laughs> last <laughs> for at least two, three generations, okay, yeah. of uh, Schollmeyer family. Oh yeah, so, super, uh, super. Uh, so <laughs> we changed uh, the material of the lead, which yeah. is uh, better plastic, okay, we put it uh, yeah. uh, gasket here, okay. Uh, that's the old okay. one. See, as you can see, it's uh, much yeah, poor yeah. plastic with a better plastic. Okay. Yeah, we have okay. also injected a uh, gasket uh, to uh, close better the, 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 the hopper. Mm. The Does it also fit on the old? Yes, uh, of course, on the, on the restyling of the Mini you can have... Uh, diameter is the same. Same, same. Cool. Yes, so still available the 320 grams instead of 600 yeah. grams. Okay. The styling of the grinder is uh, interesting. Uh, the the shape of the grinder. Okay, so the body of the grinder has uh, this new line. Okay, uh, instead of a cotton yeah. card, there is a line that you can see on the body of the grinder. Like a coffee bean, a little bit uh, yeah. the curve. Nice. Yeah. Good remark, uh, Marcus. Yeah. And uh, also the the, the uh, control panel has been uh, the membrane has been redesigned. Okay, with a more modern uh, looking. Okay. Of the Mini A. Of the Mini A. Yes, yeah. You're right. Okay. Yeah. Mini B still uh, is only the difference in the body. Yes, and the hopper, but the yes, exactly. Yeah. We haven't touched the we, in mm. the Mini B. We have not modified the control of grinding. Yeah, control. yeah. And the setting is the same. Just press here for some seconds until the four uh, uh, minuses appear, and then we can uh, change the time uh, as easily as uh, before, exactly. but it's just a, a matter of design. Yeah, the black, I think, uh, fits uh, better. It's more modern now. Okay. Yeah, okay. so this one is the new design and the old design. Exactly, exactly. Okay. It's already available from uh, this late springtime. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. yeah, but uh, the price is the same and so it's uh, more or less up to the customer which version he likes. Oh, exactly. Technically, inside is the same. See, we are not touched anything yeah. because it's a very reliable grinder okay, and we okay. want to change the experience, yeah. the good experience customers okay. are having. Okay, okay. good, good. Right. So now comes for me the super exciting part because uh, when the new Super Jolly <laughs> came out, at the V Pro, somehow I experience a different taste. We had a conversation this morning. Yeah. You know what is better between a Mini and Super Jolly? Mr. Yeah. Luca, uh, the Mini is a fantastic grinder, but if I want to have something even better with a slight difference in price, I can change uh, my idea to Super Jolly V Pro. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's really amazing, amazing. <laughs> That's, that's the uh, old Super Jolly sure. and that's the new one. Exactly, okay. I a little bit lose the uh, screws here, okay, but I can yeah. switch it on, okay. Yeah. The grinder, I'm not grinding now because yeah. I want to, I have already uh, lost, lose a little bit the screws here. 
the grinder has been redesigned completely. Mark. Yes. Is, uh, there is nothing, no, no, even the blades, even the burst are different. Okay, so yes. we redesigned everything from, uh, there is no more, compo no component which is the same on the grinder. Okay, okay. Completely new grinder. It was, uh, the first Super Jolly was designed 50 years ago, okay? Wow. Okay, so it was time, uh, okay, I mean, first, yeah. the last, I mean, yeah. this was, let's say, uh, improvements every year, we improve the product without, uh, let's say, making too much advertising, but the grinder, okay, the Super Jolly was designed 50 years ago. So this yeah. is the new Super Jolly V Pro, which is completely, it's an all new grinder, okay. Yeah. Starting from the hopper, okay, the material, the system. We, we are going to see now yeah. how easy is it, how easy it is to clean it, okay. If we want the control panel, okay, like like the last uh, uh, new generation, master generation of new grinder. Yes. Okay? The new porta filter holder, like uh, the top of uh, range of master yeah, grinder, yeah. okay. On the premium, uh, mm -hmm. on the premium uh, segment. Yeah, okay. yeah. Um, so let's see what is uh, might be very interesting. Okay, is uh, the fact that we can uh, okay open it and uh, clean the grinder without losing the setting. Okay. Yeah. So this is a very okay, very precise machine of. Of the grinder. So these plastic knobs are just an uh, optical issue, right? It's or? just uh, for uh, no, it's uh, just for uh, sanitation uh, okay. uh, reasons. We must says in USA and in USA oh, we don't okay. want that any uh, food stops inside the screws. Okay. So we have to protect them and to. Protect ah, okay. Them. This is why so, this uh, is I was wondering why are these knobs? Uh, okay. The, the Now I understand. The certification body has obliged us to put this uh, um, plastic cap to cover mm -hmm. the screws. Okay. Uh, silicone or uh, no, some hard plastic. plastic okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So now we can lift it up. Yeah. Them completely. Also yeah. This one, I think. I yeah. Know. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Okay. And now we can lift it up. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You see how this kind has been uh, has been uh, used for demonstration. Okay. But okay, what is interesting is to see that we redesigned completely the grinding chamber to reduce the retention. Okay. The the burrs are completely new. Yeah. Set to two, two, two three three. Okay. That's the yeah. difference. Two hundred thirty three. And once I have cleaned or changed my blades, okay, I can put it back, okay, and I haven't lost uh, the setting because the setting is here. Yeah. Okay. I setting is the different uh, the, the, distance, the, the distance. Distance. Okay. So yeah. to explain, uh, it's an explanation. Uh, thank you for reminding me, uh, Marcus. Okay. The setting is the distance between the upper blade, upper burr, and the lower blur. Yeah. Burr. Uh, which makes uh, okay uh, the distance vary according to which is uh, the preparation we want. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is, this is a espresso grinder. So once I have cleaned it, okay. Okay. What is interesting for our German friends is the fact that our control panel includes 19 languages and of course German. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Korean or Korean, Japanese. Wow, wow. <laughs> our good markets where we Yeah, super. Super nice. And uh, so when we open here. Mm -hmm. We, we can see this coffee outflow. See, what is interesting, let me take, a, yeah. I forgot to, keep, to take a, a screwdriver. Let yes, me yes, yes. Uh, okay, super. Yeah, that's really interesting. The screwdriver, we need to remove these ones to get to the uh, anti-static device. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
and uh, so super cool yeah so that's the real innovation the whole system and uh, what was interesting for me that the taste is totally different the taste is really totally different uh, from mini or old super trolley to this new super trolley V Pro for example I cannot distinguish a taste difference between this old uh, super trolley electronic and the uh, mini for me they taste uh, more or less the same uh, even here is a bigger motor but for, for me taste is uh, the same but here is the taste totally different and uh, this is something I could not uh, really explain why it is and even the, the coffee powder looks different it looks more fluffy to me and uh, so we we now arrive to the part where Luca removes this uh, protection. Yeah, it's protection, yes. Yeah. We have to put it, okay. Yeah, yeah to me it makes uh, no sense, but it's due to uh, security reasons, yes, okay? You're right. Ah, okay. You're right, Marcus. Yeah, that's also for certification reasons, yes. Yeah, okay. Normally it could be like this, and to remove is like turn here. Yes and zack. Okay. And that's the part which is really interesting. So it's super easy here is written up so everybody knows and uh, this wire here inside uh, which function does it have? This uh, damper okay, has the, yeah. the function to not to stop the coffee but to follow the natural flow of the grinds when uh, the grinds, when the, when the coffee grinds leave the burst, okay, yeah. this follows the flow, okay, without stopping, but always uh, following, okay, without closing the, the way out to the grinds, and following the, uh, the natural, let's say, uh, flow of the, the, the grinds into the porta filter. So this is very flexible, okay, yes. which helps to increase those consistency to reduce clamping, mm -hmm. reduce static, and of course uh, compared to the previous system, yeah. it's a much better uh, solution. And uh, okay. ju just a moment, Luca, See, before yes, inserting, yes. you can also change this uh, device, right? Uh, or uh, theoretically See, but and I practically. Know, but but uh, I think on Super Jolly we have only ones, yeah. because this is the, what we fit and is the best. Uh, okay, okay. So the That's the for the other ones. Exactly, especially on Major or Okay. Or a conning, a robot. Yeah. Okay. So very easy to even if you have a let's say um, foreign body or yeah. uh, object that falls into the blades and stops. It's very easy. You remove the finger protection and you remove this. Once you remove it, just make sure that you clean with a brush this way. Let me. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So at Super Trolley only one uh, device here inside, okay? So once you need yeah. to clean it, okay, you remove it, just clean the seat where yeah. the seat where mm -hmm. the And then can I try to yes, put it of back? Course, very easy. Don't yeah. Okay. Okay. Even as a beginner, I'm <laughs> able to and do this. This system, as you said, makes the difference. Okay. We invested a lot of huh. in terms of uh, R&D to come to this solution mm. for the. It, it the means, final yeah, the flow of the coffee powder uh, uh, after. Uh, continually checked. Okay. Yeah. And uh, let's say. Um, Hmm. They say um, the system in a, in a, has been a completely uh, thought to follow the natural uh, flow of the coffee into the portafilter yeah. without creating yeah. uh, any stop, yeah. but just to yeah. to to follow the natural flow of the, the yeah. of the grinds into the portafilter. Yeah, I never thought that it makes a, a big difference. But what, what I found with other uh, grinder manufacturers that the coffee powder is a little bit blocked. And when it's blocked, it means yeah. that uh, the coffee beans stay a little bit longer between the bursts. 
Yeah. And also the volatile properties of the coffee get slightly damaged. Yeah, okay. okay. And uh, you also manufacture the, the plates or burrs uh, in the company here. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, since Mars has mm. started manufacturing grinders, it yeah. has always been uh, mm. manufacturing the, the burrs. Yeah, and what I find really cool here is uh, when uh, here you do the, the setting, okay. the setting here, but this one here, this ring, uh, you can adjust because here are the, the screws. If you fix them here, then it's fixed. But so, uh, for example, if here is your optimum uh, grinding result, then you can adjust this ring here to the zero. Or also some customers, what they say, yeah. they close, they, they turn this until they, it, it stops. Yeah. And then at that moment they put ah, zero. So they okay, know the zero point okay. where the blades touch. are in contact. Okay. And it doesn't uh, damage the blades when they touch they slightly. They do it only, with the only when the motor is off. Yes, off. yes, okay, not on. No, no. Yeah, okay. So my personal adjustment is uh, the zero for optimum for point of espresso. It can be, is yeah, yeah. It can be adapted to what is the criteria of, yeah, okay. of, of the yeah. barista. Yeah, that's my personal point of view, but everyone can do it as he likes. Yeah, of course. So now we have to uh, reassemble, I think, otherwise we get a small problem <laughs> with, with the next one. See, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, and it's super Perfect. easy, yeah. It's really not uh, complicated. No, no. Yeah. And uh, the adjustment of the grinding degree is uh, wise versa. It's a left thread. See. Why, why not a right thread? What was because the idea? Counterwise uh, compared to the rotation yeah. of the motor. Okay. The motor rotates in this way. Okay. Yeah. So the adjustment has to be a uh, counter, ah, okay. counter rotation. Okay, interesting. With uh, some other manufacturers, they, they do it clockwise. <laughs> yeah. So, case. yeah, yeah, that's the, case. yeah, some small differences, yeah, yeah. See, in the extraction, in the, uh, the menu, okay, is, yeah. uh, okay. Is now, of course, in Italiano. See, si. okay. So, uh, yeah, with the sign, lingua is a language, not Chinese, yeah, Deutsch, yeah. Oh, even Greek. So nice. 19 <laughs> languages, yes. Yeah. Okay. Elenica, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sprache, yeah. Okay. So that's the grinding adjustment in general. When I put this button, I go forward, then the dosage, the uh, break. Break is also interesting, uh, in, in my opinion. So I can uh, put here the, the time. Right, like 75% or let's say 70%. Okay. So I confirm. Maybe you need to explain this, uh, this feature. Uh, yeah, yeah, to, to the customer. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, but then, uh, yeah, I activated the pause. Okay. So back, back, back. So for example, when I go here, it uh, stops at 70%. Uh, so I can adjust a little bit the content and then uh, make the other 30 remaining percent uh, yeah, afterwards. Yes. And now the uh, ventilator starts. Yes, of course, it's important to keep temperature down as yeah. much as possible. And it starts after the first shot. Exactly. Okay. Cool. So that's the V Pro. V Pro, another interesting feature that yeah. some customers like to use it because maybe in Italy we do single, double, yeah. maybe in our countries and we know mm. or at home someone wants to to use only always the double the double dose. Yeah. Okay. Another interesting feature is the fact that you can uh, use, yeah. use the, the this uh, um, push to run uh, switch which is, uh, in the, as we have seen uh, right now, that Marcus was using the key button yeah. to 
to operate the grinder. But if we want to use the porta filter, okay. We do here. Okay, and then. Right. Okay. Uh, no, there is a shortcut also. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. Back, back. Wait, so I, press I, menu button once. Okay. Press this one? No, the menu. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. menu. Okay. Ah, wow, hey, that's cool. Ah, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. Ah, okay, that's new for me. Press here, you see? That's a short cut. Super, wow. Zip trigger? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now, nice stops at seventy yes. percent, and then oops, yes, see. the needs to be adjusted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Adjusted. It's a little bit uh, too high. See, see. Yeah. Okay. okay. Cool. Yeah, and it needs to be a little bit uh, more cleaned, but uh, so of yeah. course it needs to be adjusted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Super. Okay. And, and then if you want to go back to yeah. the push button, it's enough that you press the menu. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Nice, nice. It's short. That's it's a shortcut. <laughs> <laughs> Every day something new. That's always nice. Okay. So for me, new was that grind. This GFC, GFC system, has system big influence on the taste. Yeah, can be yeah, 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 yeah. It controls the flow of the coffee yeah. without stopping the coffee huh. and uh, to for the best result in the cup. Wow, wow. And uh, I think here near the Matsoko is also a nice one in action. See. So we can see the result. Of course. Super. This is the same grinder, okay. Except for this, uh, which is uh, something which is not, uh, let's say, standard. Yeah. And uh, you use since many years uh, Illy coffee, right? Uh, we change from local roasters to, in this case, we have seen the achievement of um, some coffee that Billy sent us. Okay, so here, now I try double. As you can see in the new system, okay, the coffee falls exactly inside the portafilter because yeah. We didn't um, show, but the portafilter, all the rest, can be adjusted in, yeah. in a high, in depth, so it can be adjusted to any kind of portafilter in order to let the coffee fall inside, okay. inside the, the center of the basket. Okay. And this one here is a little bit... Uh, uh, we had uh, some customers... Uh, old in, uh, school, huh? See, they wanted us to, to give this... Uh, okay. Ah. Okay. okay, now we come also to something new for me, this tea temper. Which is an auto temper uh, method developed and we presented in Milan uh, last October. Yeah, and yes. In July we are going to start production. It's um, an auto temper where the tamping force is controlled by a load cell, so has a scale, the grinder has a scale. Yes. Okay, behind uh, this... Uh, this uh, Chassis behind the cabin. Okay. Inside the grinder, the, the, the tamper that is uh, the uh. load cell. It tamps in the eight levels at the same time, so there is a distribution of the grinds because the tamper, okay. the disc rotates, yeah. rotates when touching the coffee. Uh, what is, in your opinion, difference of the puck press and this one? <laughs> First of all, we control the force. Yeah. Uh, we control the how much the tamping force by using the load cell. Uh, yeah. So we, we know exactly how consistent it is, this system, compared to something which does not have a, a scale, a load cell. Okay. So we are able to, if we have, um, uh, let's say, uh, the tamper set for 35 kilos or whatever, yeah. okay, I can see that uh, oh, here, yeah. I can, uh, if I set the, grind, the tamper for 23 kilos, I have a tolerance of half a kilo plus minus. Okay. Other system which does not have the load cell. To press here, right? See. So after some time. Now edit, uh, I was too long or? Oh uh, yeah, I don't need to, 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 to. Ah yeah, okay, okay. So that was my mistake. No, it's okay. 
no, wait. <laughs> yeah, now we are in the technical setting, yeah. I don't remember exactly. This is still uh, not in production yet, so. Yeah. Um, but okay. it's quite easy. Okay, no. You, yeah. When you need to, uh, there are two, let's say, already. Yeah, yeah, up and, and up and down. Okay, yeah. Up and down, okay. Let's suppose I want to change this uh, tamping force. I just need to press it, okay? Ah, Keep okay, a little bit longer, yeah, okay. the upper button, yeah. And I go up or down, whatever. Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool. So that's more or less the, the difference uh, of uh, puck press and this one for... Uh, well, the precision, the, the precision how we can guarantee the tamping force by using lots, yeah. okay, that our mm -hmm. doesn't have it, okay, and then everything here is made of stainless steel. Yeah. I need to, I don't want to. It's entirely made of standard thing that we see, if I do remember yeah. how to. It was the. Also, the. Ah, oh, okay, good. Okay. This is entirely made of stainless steel. Why? Wow. This is so important. When wow, you, super when, heavy, yeah. When you tamp, okay, then yeah. your porta filters does not fall. fall okay, okay. In, in one direction, in so it's so always because, horizontal. Because you know that once mm. you tamp, not oblique, not very uh, even, okay, yeah. the, there are, you are creating some preferential water channeling, okay, okay. The coffee, yeah. and the water pass through where it finds less resistance. Okay. So it's better. Always, and only, only a system which is very rigid and very strong yeah. can guarantee this. If it is made of plastic, this flex. Yeah. Okay, wow. So now to uh, set it back into position. Oh, yeah, it's super easy. It's really super easy. Wow. So now we can do uh, extraction test. Yeah. And here we have also the short counter. GR1 means group one, of course, and uh, yeah, so we can see uh, uh, the flow as well, uh, yeah, as extraction time is now 22 seconds. And look also the tiger effect that you have on the crema. Yeah. How nice it is. Nice. Mm. Ah, wow. Super cool. Good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I test, of course. Okay. Mm. Ah, excellent, excellent. It's my favorite, this, uh, this uh, roasting degree, the English, mm -hmm. which is uh, something in between uh, the lighter yeah. and, the, and the darker. Not too light, not too dark. Exactly, exactly. It's exactly. a little bit of uh, chocolate, a little exactly. bit fruit, exactly. so exactly. it's uh, well balanced. Also, yeah. Biscuit uh, mm. taste, you can have it, you can, mm. you can pick up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice. That's a classical Italian blend. Yes. I would say. Wow, nice. And really, uh, yeah, the, the machine, of course, is also super nice in the handling. And uh, what, what, in your opinion, makes the difference of flat, flat burrs or conical burrs? Is there any uh, preference or it's... My uh, personal preference? Yeah. What is, uh, what, I, what I picked up or what I understood yeah. after 22 years. Uh, still, there are some roasters who do prefer conical. Yeah. They say because of the slow rotation, it creates less, uh, let's say, um, side effect to the beam, uh, because it, gener it generates, uh, the grinder wave, a conical burst, generates less heat, so it's yeah. to keep it down. Uh, there are others who say that uh, maybe you, it's difficult to, to find the yeah. difference. Yeah, and we can see here the difference of the burst. Yes. Yeah. 
here. <laughs> it's the three phase robot. Male and female. And that's the 220 volt version See. and 380 and volt. Exactly. volt. You know what, uh, Marcus? Uh, yeah. Back to the, the shape of the blades. Yeah. Uh, if your um, coffee is a very delicate coffee, so 100% Arabic, and you are very, very busy, yeah. maybe the conical burst okay, solve some issues when you are very, very busy. Okay. It's more stable. Because it because uh, produces. Reduce the heat uh, yeah. when grinding. Less heat and low. Uh, low RPMs. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Interesting. So here we we have the, the coated ones. They were developed quite a long time ago. Yes, it's a, they say a, they say a much of technology that we are using to allow service uh, companies to go there to replace the birds uh, after a longer time. Yeah. So they are expected to last three times longer than the okay. standard steel. So that's the, the main difference. Uh, See, basically yes, because uh, we use uh, we use a harder steel, and then which is uh, after that which is treated with the titanium. Okay. okay. All the burrs are packed uh, as we are seeing here. Okay. On this side. Uh, wow. Yeah. Okay. One That's by the... one. Here there is also a tutorial video mm. explaining how to replace them. Okay. Okay. okay which is can be very helpful for. Uh, even for skilled engineer, because maybe we find a different yeah. way to it, or faster yeah. way to, to do it. Wow. Okay. So, and with Kony and Robo, the difference is, for example, uh, the the bursts are the same, only the motor is different. Uh, no, the, no, I mean, oh. no, blaze. Uh, we are talking about uh, bursts. Yeah. Every grinder has its own um, uh, set of bursts. Yeah. Also, the size of the bursts. Coney and Robos are different. Robos yeah. is for high need, so they are yeah. larger. Uh, but of course, uh, we, when we design a new set of burrs, we uh, test and we design the burrs according to which is the motor yeah. specifications. Mm. Okay. Yeah, so normally the, the Coney for me is, uh, I prefer because it's not so uh, big. The, uh, the Robo is more for uh, high performance. Yes, it's for very busy locations. Yeah, like uh, 500 coffee per day or, yes, or even more. Yeah, <laughs> wow, wow. Okay. Yeah, and. Uh, Please, sorry. Yeah, uh, I just wanted to, to finish with the GFC. Okay. So, in the GFC of uh, Kony and Robo and a Major, you can change uh, the, the damper. Inside the damper. Depending, depending which is the situation that you have to, to address. If you have dust uh, or maybe some uh, very dry weather and you want to control the grinds uh, on your mm -hmm. damper, there is the dedicated damper. If you have clamping effect, uh, you can change mm -hmm. the internal wire uh, yeah. damper okay, inside the GFC system mm -hmm. uh, to. to, uh, to to solve any kind of issue. Yeah, okay. And uh, which kind of births are these? Oh, I do remember, I do not remember. <laughs> I suppose was for the old uh, yeah. Zarg line, there was a short okay. kind that we had in the past. Okay. okay. But that we discontinued. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. Yeah, so these one are the 83 millimeters, right? No, I think this is the oh. millimeter. This is for another grinder that we don't okay. manufacture anymore. Yeah. Okay, but there are yeah, more or less all, yeah. all the all the birds that we are currently mm -hmm. in on the grinder. Yeah. Ah, but this one looks uh, and dum dum dum. Yeah, one five one eight. This is for the titanium coated, the single yeah. phase for major. Yeah. Automatic. Nice, nice. Yeah, and this also fits to the set M? Uh, fits, uh, yes, yeah, the M, but we do prefer, we do recommend to fit 151B. B. 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 Okay, so B. for set M, 151B. B for espresso. Yeah, okay. Super cool, wow.